we're going to be talking about irregular verbs. Not all verbs add ed to form the past tense. Anytime we have a verb that does not use ed to change the tense to past tense, it's an irregular verb. Here's an example. I saw James yesterday. Saw is an irregular verb. The present tense is see, but we don't say seed. It's an irregular verb and we say saw. An irregular verb has a special spelling for the past tense. Let's look at some other irregular verbs. On the left-hand side, I have the present tense of the verb. On the right-hand side, I have the irregular verb spelled. Let's read them together. Come, came. Came is the past tense. Do, did. Say, said. Go, went. Eat, ate. Sing, sang. Here are some examples. We ate pasta last night. We will eat steak tonight. The choir sang this morning. They will sing again tonight. In your language arts journal, I want you to choose three irregular verbs. You're going to write a sentence for the present tense verb. Then you're also going to write a sentence for the past tense verb. Just like I did here, I chose ate and eat. I have a sentence for the past tense verb. And I have a sentence for the future tense because I put will here. Remember, anytime we want future, we can put will. I have the choir sang this morning, past tense, and they will sing again tonight, future tense, because I have will. We'll put this back on there. I want you now to write down three irregular verb sets and write a sentence for both the present and or future and the past verb in your language arts journal. We'll share those in class today.